All right, what up, guys? We've been getting a lot of questions about the uh, touring pack that we made out of the uh, Pelican case. So we're gonna put together this video, show you how easy it is. We use the 1610 Pelican. Super simple to do, doesn't require a whole lot of tools. This is one that we have not modified. It's the modified one right there. We'll go over how we got to that. That way you can use it for a touring pack for your Harley Davidson bagger. What up guys? So step one of turning this 1610 Pelican case into a tour pack is to remove this bottom piece, which has a roller adapter. What you're gonna notice is these have the square bolts. Uh, so if you do not have a square drill bit, you've gotta pick one up or borrow from a homie. When you take this off, it's gonna look like this. This is two pieces. The reason I'm showing you this is the way I'm gonna show you to modify this, if you ever wanna turn it back into a Pelican case and use it for rolling into a hotel, you can. So when this comes off, it's gonna look like this, okay? But the first thing we gotta talk about are these two bolts right here and these two bolts here. So these four bolts have these little mound nodules right here. You're gonna have to cut them off. You can do this with a Dremel. It's the cleanest and fastest. It'll melt through the plastic. But once you remove those, they should turn flat like that. Just make it flush. The reason we're doing these flush is because you can get either an OEM or you can get the $40 Amazon. It looks like this. It's three pieces and it's flush, which is why you want to make this flush and it goes in this area. It is a quick, connect, quick disconnect system. And yes, this does fit. Now, some of them, if you're pulling them off, they don't have the rubber, these are plastic. They may chip, but the company will send you new ones if asked. What up guys? Step two is gonna be actually installing the mount onto your motorcycle. And you're gonna to wanna to do that using the quick disconnects, make sure it's secure. Then you're gonna put whatever case you have, which in our case is the 1610, because it fits full face helmets. You place it on, you figure out where you want it. And underneath are four slots. Those four slots are here. So once you have these four slots, you drag a Sharpie underneath it with this being on. When it's on, it's marked. And it looks like this. So you'll have these little drawings of where it is and you're able to place it in the middle, just to make sure. You can also line it up using other lines and areas. All right, so after you've marked the bottom of the Pelican case with your Sharpie, uh, with the template that we just showed you, you're gonna wanna drill your quarter inch holes for them all the way across the bottom of the Pelican case here to accommodate the hardware. In this case, we're using a quarter inch by one and a half inch bolt with a Teflon nut uh, to keep everything secure from the vibration and a one and a half inch uh, washer to evenly distribute the weight. Along with the hardware and the, uh, the holes that we just showed you, we found some uh, fencing material from Lowe's. That's what we went with. It's cheap, it was easy to come across. Uh, it's steel. We glued two of them together with Gorilla Glue, put it in the vise overnight. All this is is a spacer. Drilled the holes in the uh, spacer as well, a quarter inch. And that's gonna go across the bottom here, just like this. Uh, we're using this for two reasons, one, to allow the space from the bottom of the Pelican case, the bottom of the lids on the motorcycle. And two, it also helps distribute the weight evenly across the bottom. So when this thing gets loaded down with a bunch of weight, it's not flexing and uh, oblonging your holes out.
All right, next we're gonna talk about this little hole right here. It's a pressure release valve that if you buy your Pelican case new, most likely it'll have the valve there. Uh, we bought ours used, cheap online, and they didn't have the actual pressure release. Uh, so if you wanna make yours watertight, airtight, all that, come up with a system like we did, super easy. Just put a bolt with a plastic uh, washer on the back to seal it. It actually mushrooms out and creates a nice tight seal. The hardware that we used, something super simple, keeps it clean. Uh, just a small uh, quarter inch bolt that we have here, mushroom on the top, nice and flush, black. Uh, that way it still looks clean. Um, and on the back side, you'll have more washers and a nut. That way, if you ever want to take it off for any reason, you can. The next step of this is a potential mount of the top touring pack rack that normally comes on Harley Davidson's. For this one, I'm using Plasti Dip. This comes in clear, and there's also Flexi Dip from uh, Rust Oleum. This comes in black. They both come in clear or black. It tends to be the choice. Um, but I'll show you what we're doing with these and I'll explain right over here. So I took the stock rack. And what I had done is I had had it linexed. That way it's durable and subtle, not chrome. Uh, powder coating works too as well. This just seems more rugged and it can get hit versus chipping a lot easier. So when I mounted this, obviously I drilled the holes to match the hardware. And then what we did is we put the rubber gaskets to start the sealing around there. All right, those are rubber washers. When you go inside, this is the completed one, with the bolts and hardware on the inside, we splayed. Excuse me, we sprayed the Plasti Dip and it's black. So we sprayed it to seal the bolts on the inside as well as the washers on the outside. So it's waterproof from both angles. As this was getting tacky, the Plasti Dip, we put the foam on here and it acts as an adhesive so this doesn't move. An unfinished product, you can do the same as this is one without the foam. And just like this, you can spray it with Plasti Dip or Flex Dip and seal the bolt harbor that's coming through. The whole goal of this is to allow right here to form its seal on the edge. The next step for this, if you want to be extra thorough, is using the Plasti Dip or the Flex Dip and getting it in clear or black or whatever color you want. And when your hardware comes through, you simply spray it and it'll seal all around it. You can put as much as you want. Secondly, I sprayed some here on the back of this pressure relief valve that I did not have and it sealed that as well. So if you don't want to set your stuff on a quarter inch bolt, what I did is I got a quarter inch yoga mat and you simply cut it, there's grip on it, and when you lay it inside, it just cleans up your bag, just like that. All right, with everything installed, you spray your flex seal right here, and it'll keep it from being uh, having water come in. And with these going down through the rack, you're able to really tighten it, and it leaves a lower profile, so when you put this rack here, or this, this yoga mat, you're not gonna see anything. All right, so the spaces for the lids that we mentioned, which come from the fencing bracket area at Lowe's or Home Depot, we use two per side. They're only 12 inches. And like my partner said, they're steel and it allows you just enough room to where you're not scratching your bag. So spacers are important or else you'll keep your bag. That's it from Left Coast Baggers. And that's how you use a 1610 as a touring pack. All right, fellas, we reached the last step. If you wanted the egg crate foam in here and it's adhesive and everything's dried out, we have our yoga mat for padding to protect whatever gear you have. Having this here prevents it from scratching your nice helmets. Simpson, custom painted, what have you. Um, just to show you, 
and it will make its own indention and hold while you're riding too, is the 1610 Pelican case closes with a full face helmet. You can actually put two in here, one on the right side and you have to turn the other one sideways. The reason for that is there are wheel grooves that go inside. So you have to turn this side helmet sideways. Again, we hope this video helped you and you enjoy it. What we use is the 1610 Pelican case to keep our custom bikes more custom. Enjoy your riding, stay on two wheels.